company specific stuff to Steve Leesman right now, who's got details from the Fed's beige book results. Uh, Steve, this is the look anecdotally at the U.S. economy. So what is the Fed and its right. member banks? What are they saying about the U.S. economy? Yeah, something that really animates the Fed these days. I'll talk about that in a second. They said economic activity slowed with four districts reporting modest growth. Two districts saying the growth was flat to slightly down. But six districts said there were slight declines in economic activity. Just so everybody knows, this is the six weeks ending about mid Uh, November here. So this is a report from the fourth quarter, not the third quarter, where we got that strong growth. Retail sales were mixed with declines in durables like furniture and appliances. Sounds like that was very housing related. Consumers showing more price sensitivity. That's important for the inflation outlook as to whether consumers are pushing back on price increases. Travel and tourism was generally healthy. Manufacturers outlook, though, it did weaken Currently, it's mixed, but the outlook weakened. And demand for business loans declined, particularly for real estate. Consumer credit, though, remained healthy. A lot of talk about that, though some banks noted a, quote, slight uptick in consumer delinquencies. Not a big uptick, a slight one. Overall, the economic outlook for the next 6 to 12 months diminished compared to the prior report. On to the important aspect of the labor outlook. Demand for labor continued to ease. Uh, According to the reports uh, from the districts, more applicants were available, retention improved, and there were reductions in headcounts, both through layoffs and attrition. It was a very different report that we had, say, during the very, very strong labor markets we have. Labor market, however, is still said to be tight for skilled workers. We do hear that from small businesses. On the important aspect of wage growth, it was said to be modest to moderate, and many districts were reporting an easing in wage pressure, another good sign for the Fed and its fight against inflation. Overall, on inflation, price increases largely moderated, though obviously prices remain elevated. Most districts expect price increases to moderate into next year. Dom, the way the Fed is running the show right now. They're kind of in a holding pattern, looking for a reason to go either way. And so, as you heard from my interview this morning with um, Richmond Fed President Tom Barkin, they're relying more and more on anecdotes like this. This suggests that the economy is moving in the way that they want, which is a slowing economy after that breakneck number we got this morning of 5.2 percent growth in the third quarter. Most economists I see now looking at more like a 2 percent range for growth. Dom? It also implies to a certain degree that the scales are balanced from a rate perspective. They're they're looking for something to tip it either way. So those anecdotes are important, Steve. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you later on.